Today we're on the Feather River uh, trolling for some stripers. We're also going to be doing a few other methods. We'll be throwing some swim baits, possibly jigging. But uh, we got to locate them first, so we fish a lot of the sandbars, the drop-offs in the sandbars. That's where those stripers typically like to hold. So right now we're just trying to locate them. Today we're going to start off using a shallow running Yozuri. Um, notice it's got the small bill on there. We don't want it to dive uh, too deep into the bottom. We're going to be fishing water that's mostly anywhere from six to eight feet deep. So these dive the perfect depth. If we wanted to go a little bit deeper, we'd use the deep divers. But uh, this right here has really good action for what uh, the stripers like. They like the rattles and they like, uh, you know, the movement of this lure. So when they hit it, they hit it really hard. They hit it uh, like a freight train going the opposite direction. So uh, it's just basically uh, let it out and hold on. But uh, probably the most important thing to do with uh, one of these lures, almost any lure that you use, is make sure they're tuned. And what I mean by tuned is running correctly, side to side evenly. If it's running to the left or to the right uh, more than the other direction, what happens is your lure doesn't get to the bottom. And if your lure doesn't get to the bottom, you don't have a chance of catching a fish. Because it'll, what it does is if it runs to the left too much or runs to the right too much, it actually flips up to, towards the top. And uh, these fish, we need them, uh, you know, we catch them on the bottom. So we need this lure on the bottom. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it when I get going to the trolling speed to make sure it's running right. And if you look here at the lure, you can actually see it moving here in the water. Here we go. If you can see that lure moving side to side at a good speed here. You can see it moving right there. It's running good, it's staying down. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to let this lure out. We're in five feet of water, so I'm going to let it out about 85 feet right now to start with. I've got a line counter on here that tells me where we're at. It's counting out right now at 85. Notice i got my thumb on the spool so it doesn't backlash. Going to 85 and lock it. Rod tip's vibrating good. Just what we want to see right now. You see that rod tip working just like that. And we'll see... Uh, if there's any stripers around. So I'm gonna put that in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna text, test this one. That one's running really good too. All right, we just found our first striper here. We've only been in the water for about a minute. It's not a big fish, but it's our first one of the morning. Good start. You can tell it's a baby, it's not taking out much line, but uh, I'll show you what they look like here in just a second. All right, we just found our first striper here. We've only been in the water for about a minute. It's not a big fish, but it's our first one of the morning. Good start. You can tell it's a baby, it's not taking out much line, but uh, I'll show you what they look like here in just a second. And there it is. Right, so uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, so uh, right now this fish is just a little small. He's uh, under 18 inches, so we're gonna have to throw him back. But notice he grabbed the back hook here. Gotta be real careful that you don't get a hook in you. Pull it out just like that, and it's a nice looking, healthy striper. A little small though, we're gonna throw him back, let him get a little bigger. And there he goes. Notice. Uh, he took our worm, so we're going to add another worm tail onto here. Everything else looks good, the hooks are good, so we're going to put it back out in the water and see if we can't get another one. 
So right now, uh, we were just trolling downstream, trying to cover a lot of water, trying to find this, you know, school of fish. You know, this is not a large fish by any means, but, uh, you know, where there's one stripe, there's usually more. So we're going to turn around here in a minute and go through again and see if I can't uh, locate a few more stripers. This is a little baby. We're going to let this guy grow up and uh, get a little bigger so we can catch him in uh, the years to come. Another thing is you got to be real careful when you go to grab this lure. You see how they like to shake? I have taken many hooks out of many hands from people uh, getting too anxious and just grabbing it. Just like that, you check all your stuff and ready to go again. So I'm going to turn around here in just a second. We're going to go back through this and see if there's not a few more fish right there. Our speed's really important too, uh, how fast we're going. I use uh, GPS here to watch my speed, but we also are dealing with current. You know, sometimes we deal with tides, sometimes we deal with current. Right now, there's no tides where we're at, but there's current. So we're actually going against it right now, so we gotta watch, you know, that. We gotta factor that into how fast we're trolling. So typically, with the current we have, we're going anywhere from about 2.8 to about 3.5 miles an hour. Um, when we're going downstream, I try to always stay under five miles an hour. Typically those stripers don't like it over five, but uh, there are a few instances where they will hit a little faster than that. Fish on. He's charging the boat here. Here we go, here's another, another striper. A little undersized, but a good start for the morning here. We're gonna go for another one, so I'm just gonna release him real quick, just like that. Just to make sure this is all looking good. This in the water again, and I'm gonna tune it. It's running good. So this green one has two so far, this one doesn't have any, so I'm going to check the tuning on this one again and make sure uh, it's running properly. That feels like a little bit better fish there. Give him a little bit more of a tug here. Still don't think he's uh, the size we're looking for yet. It's probably a keeper. <clears throat> So we caught him in about six feet of water. He's coming over. Bring him back over here. Oh yeah, he's a definitely a keeper. There's a nice keeper right there. Nice healthy looking fish. I'm gonna grab my pliers and I'm gonna throw them back in.
vipers, they actually come in from the ocean and in the delta, that's where they uh, live most of their life, and then they come up the rivers to spawn. Um, typically what they do when they spawn is uh, they'll come up into either the feather, the sack, occasionally the American, but uh, depending on the flows, uh, you know, one year we'll have uh, better fishing on the feather, another year better fishing on the sack. And uh, they just come up, they'll do their spawning, they spawn up on top. A lot of people think uh, when they see them spawning, you know, they're up on the top of the water, they think you can catch them with top water, but it's really tough when they start spawning. But before they start spawning, um, you can catch them on a little bit of top water, but most of it's all deep down, down towards the bottom. There's some right there. Some more. See them right there? You can see them on the green screen and the white screen. Now the situation where we're in is uh, some of these fish were in a little bit deeper water than our lure could get to. So we're going to change lures right now. We're going to go to one that dives a little bit deeper. It's got a little bit bigger bill on it. And uh, it's kind of an intermediate diver. And we're going to see if we can't get those fish. So what I'm going to do right now again is I'm going to tune it and make sure it's running right. And uh, we're going to go back down, troll back down and see if we can't get those fish that I was marking on the screen. Fish on. Okay, we got another small one. Not what we're looking for yet, guys, but uh, they will come. We're on another sandbar here. It was just starting to come up uh, when this guy hit. He smacked it. Little guy. Doesn't matter if they're uh, a pound and a half or 25 pounds, they all hit the same. They hit like freight trains going the opposite direction. They hit really good. They want to kill this thing, and they sure try. Yeah, he took it down good. This is a good area right here, guys. I expect uh, to catch one in here. We got a nice little sandbar that's uh, going to come up real quick and it'll hold a lot of fish in here at times. And with the water dropping like it did uh, overnight, I got a feeling there's going to be a few oh, fish. Just like I said, I got a feeling. There we go. Feather River Striper. They're working good. Film working. Something's going to pop here in a second. There's a couple right there. There they are, right there. They're sitting right at the top of this. If you watch a finder, it's going to come. Fish on. There they were, and there they are. Fish on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, double, double. There they are. Ooh, both two good fish on, guys. That one's a good one, too. You can just tell I was taking it. All right. See, they were sitting right at the top of this bar. If you look, ooh, yeah, this is taking some good line here. You can actually see the bottom here if you look out down right there you can see the bottom come up right there see the bottom right there what are we using again? we're using a yozuri 
five and a quarter inch shallow runner. Look at that, nice little fish. There we go. Feather River Striper. They're working good. Still them working. Something's going to pop here in a second. There's a couple right there. There they are, right there. They're sitting right at the top of this. If you watch the finder, it's going to come fish on. There they were, and there they are. Fish on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, double, double. There they are. Ooh, both two good fish on, guys. That one's a good one, too. You can tell I was taking it. All right. See, they were sitting right at the top of this bar. If you look, ooh, yeah, this is taking some good line here. You can actually see the bottom here if you look out down right there you can see the bottom come up right there see the bottom see how shallow it is right there look at the bottom you can see it right here wow. we're right on the bar and that's where these fish are at so they're sitting right on the edge of the they're bar sitting right? right on the drop of the bar look at my fish finder here we're in two feet of water and we're fishing down into seven feet six seven feet where those fish were holding so you really don't have to go very deep then now you just got to be the mistake that most people make with these right here is they reel them too fast. Okay, these stripers are on the bottom. So if you're way above them, you don't have a chance of catching them. You need to be in that strike zone. That strike zone is in front of their face. The more, the more you have in front of their face, the more you're going to catch. Okay, so what I like to tell everybody is just a one, two, three, four, five, and then start reeling. Just like this, and they'll pop it. If you start bouncing the bottom, reel just a little bit faster but you want to stay out the bottom just a hair now if you look up river right here you can see the sandbar see how the sandbar is formed and you see this little ripply water right here in front of us that ripply water is deep but right above it that flat calm stuff that's the shallow stuff okay so for the river now, Bob, these guys made their way all the way from uh, the ocean the ocean and the Delta yes they came all the way in they're going to do their spawning. They're going to do their spawning and then they uh, will go back down. You know, there'll be a few resident fish that stay in, but uh, most of them will turn around and go back to spawn another year. Very nice. Very nice. Switching or anything because this tail is going to do all the work for you right here. You feel it's stuck? Okay. We were trolling, looking for a big school of fish, and now we've found a, a real big school of fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to motor around these fish so we don't spook them, and we're going to go back and we're going to cast these swim baits right here for them. And the whole key with these swim baits is you cast it out to the side of the boat, you let it uh, sink for about five seconds, and then you start reeling it in. You don't have to do much twitching or anything because this tail is going to do all the work for you right here. You feel it stop, you're going to set the hook, and you're going to pop it good. Okay, if you miss them, continue reeling. The mistake that most people make with these right here is they reel them too fast. Okay, these stripers are on the bottom. So if you're way above them, you don't have a chance of catching them. You need to be in that strike zone. That strike zone is in front of their face. The more, the more you have in front of their face, the more you're gonna catch, okay? So what I like to tell everybody is just a one, two, three, four, five, and then start reeling, just like this and they'll pop it. If you start bouncing the bottom, reel just a little bit faster, but you want to stay out the bottom just a hair. Now, if you look up river right here, you can see the sandbar. See how the sandbar is formed? And you see this little ripply water right here in front of us. That ripply water's deep, but right above it, that flat calm stuff, that's the shallow stuff, okay? So they're gonna be hanging all that whole edge all the way up. So I'm gonna get my electric trolling motor ready. Oh, Bob, you know, what's the weight on this right here? That right there is a half ounce. Half I have ounce. three okay. eighths I like to use in a half ounce. When we're in the river and we got current, I usually like to stick with the half ounce. 
But Just to uh, get it down to the bottom? To get it down there, yeah. Okay. So the idea is to try and stay as low as you can? Yeah, you want to keep it, well, you don't want to hold your rod tip way out of the strike zone. You want to hold it, you know, about below your eye level. Very good. So you can set the hook. Is there a preference on a swim bait that you use? What was that? Is there a, a preference on swim bait that you use? You know, I just like to have a good movement on the tail. The tail is the important part, the action. Okay. So Very nice. sometimes I'll use different colors, different sizes, but these fish right now, white this, with the water color is perfect. We don't need anything else. Very good. So if you look at the fish finder right here, we're at 3.7 feet. And I'm trying to stay off these fish, so I'm going to come up on the top of this sandbar and then slide us over. That right there is enough to jig. You can see them on both screens right there. That's uh, a lot of fish underneath us right there, guys. That's what we're looking for to jig or to throw a swim bait. So I'm going to grab a swim bait real quick and watch this. So I'm going to just going to throw it out and get it all ready. And watch this. We're gonna, I'm gonna throw it right back through those fish. I'm gonna let it sink for a second. One, two, three, four, five. And look at them all right here. Boy, they're absolutely loaded. We could jig these fish in five feet of water if we wanted to. Okay, someone's gonna hit me here. Man, they're thick in here. No one wants to hit me yet. Sometimes they'll hit it all the way back to the back of the boat. Boy, they are thick, thick. Oh, he hit it right there. Oh, he just came undone. Wow, I saw him hit. That was incredible. I love it when you can see him hit, guys. That is fun. Boy, he uh, decided the last second he wanted it. So we got fish here underneath us still. Lots of fish. They're loaded in here. So we're gonna look at them. They're still underneath us. Ooh, got them. That one I missed, I got to see him. He was probably seven or eight pounds. He was a nice one. This one right here is still a nice one too. Hey, look at that. Tell this swim bait's caught a lot of fish. It's pretty beat up, but you know what? Still catching them, so we're gonna throw it back out. So we're gonna go back up. You can kind of see where it funnels down and narrows down. That's what I was talking about today. Finding areas that it necks down. So that sandbar comes all the way across and it gets like a V. And the tighter in the V, the more fish it's holding right now. So the higher we're up, the better uh, fishing we're gonna have. So we're gonna go back up there and we're gonna throw some swim baits and show you what it's all about throwing some swim baits.